Hello, my name is Tony Chan for Telecom TV. I'm here at the OpenStack Summit in Sydney, Australia. Uh, today with me is Idiko Vancha from the OpenStack Foundation. Great to have you here, and um, we want to talk a little bit about the service provider space uh, in, you know, in relation to OpenStack and, and its development. So from your perspective, what's, what are the principal benefits of OpenStack for the service provider segment? OpenStack is, is great because beyond being an open source cloud platform, we are working on making it modular and um, we are not specializing it for, for telecoms, but uh, we are offering a wide set of services and companies can basically uh, choose from these options and uh, pick those services that fit their needs, requirements and fit in their environment. So we are working on to define uh, standard interfaces between uh, these components, uh, also working on uh, both uh, the uh, north and south bound interfaces. So OpenStack not just gives you um, a smooth uh, northbound API layer on top of your uh, infrastructure third party hardware, but it also gives you a possibility to plug in uh, specialized components, like for example, in the telecom and FB space, uh, we see uh, many options for SDN controllers. So with OpenStack, you have a wide range uh, from which you can choose. And uh, thanks to collaborations with uh, other communities, uh, with, like for example, OPNFE or Open Daylight, it's not just uh, integrated on, on the software side, but it's also well tested, like how OPNFE is doing end-to-end -end full stack uh, testing, uh, having OpenStack integrated uh, with these components. You can uh, also look into how OpenStack performs uh, in these scenarios, and uh, service providers can, can make a good choice based on uh, these scenarios and tests. Right. Uh, it's pretty clear in the market that OpenStack has gained a lot of momentum within service providers. It seems like all the carriers are have some kind of project going on with OpenStack. Uh, what, are, what are some of the use cases that you've seen from uh, your service provider members? Well, what we are um, hearing is uh, for the future is 5G. Mm. Uh, so service providers are looking into uh, how to leverage the, the performance that OpenStack provides. So I just heard in a, in a previous session that uh, companies are uh, keeping the uh, workloads which need performance on OpenStack and uh, moving workloads to, to, pub, to the public cloud space, uh, which are less sensitive in that area. And we have a lot of discussions on how to enable 5G and how to fulfill those requirements that 5G has. And we also have uh, recent discussions on edge computing and what that means uh, for uh, on one hand uh, all players of the industry but we are also uh, obviously having a, a big focus on on the telecom parts and, and needs with a lot of companies involved from that space. So service providers has been uh, rolling out OpenStack in their networks for some time now and uh, they're offering a lot of services right now things like network as a service, virtual routers, things like that. Um, what is OpenStack doing to, to enable that further? OpenStack has um, a central networking component called Neutron, uh, which is basically a generic uh, SDN controller for those companies who don't need advanced networking. But even for, for companies who are looking more into specifics, it provides a standard, um, kind of de facto standard uh, REST API uh, to which you can uh, plug in those SDN controllers uh, that I mentioned earlier to um, realize more complex set of features. And on top of that, we also have uh, several smaller, more focused projects around the networking space within OpenStack, like providing DNS as a service or a load balancer as a service components uh, to, to enable uh, more specialized work loads. Um, we also have a project called Courier, which is looking into um, how to provide networking uh, with Neutron in the container 
container space um, because containers are also a really hot topic uh, nowadays and OpenStack is looking into uh, to provide a smooth integration with container technologies and we are including networking in that space as well and uh, looking into how to solve the requirements and challenges for, for container networking. Right. And how does that fit in with the edge computing movement that is been hitting the news lately? Um, OpenStack has very central focus on um, edge computing. Uh, we had an event recently called OpenDev uh, in September where we had around 200 representatives from all around the uh, industry and all around the globe and the focus was edge computing. Uh, we were uh, talking about mainly use cases and edge computing in general and we weren't exclusive to OpenStack so we would like to keep it open to figure out that uh, which parts of the environment will require what technology, what functionalities, and see that what services from OpenStack can fulfill uh, all those needs and what we need to do to uh, enhance those services further uh, to provide good enough latency, for example, to mention one example um, in that space. Uh, we are also uh, keeping that momentum, so here in the Sydney Summit, we have several forum discussions about edge computing, where we are now focusing a bit more on the technology parts and uh, talking more about uh, features, um, OpenStack projects and services, and uh, looking into next steps on how we can keep this collaboration all around the industry, uh, find out the common factors uh, that are the needs uh, both on telecom and, uh, and uh, the other sides of the industry like retail, automotive, uh, and the list is really long, and uh, putting things into motion, working together with our uh, developers in the community to realize those features. Okay. Um, some of the feedback that I've noticed around this show is, is that uh, OpenStack needs to evolve further now, uh, especially in the telco space uh, because of, I guess, the more stringent requirements within service providers. Uh, what is your perspective in, in that? Where, where, does, where do you think OpenStack needs to go? So OpenStack is, uh, on one hand, it is an open source cloud platform. Everyone uh, knows that part. And I would like to put a little bit more emphasis on the community side of OpenStack and the open environment uh, side of OpenStack that, that we are providing. So. Uh, we are not just working on the, the software and the code itself by keeping it modular, having it as an, as an um, integration engine uh, for, the, for the service providers, but also keeping this uh, community um, an innovative environment. So we are looking into where the te technology evolves and how we can support that and how we can provide that space uh, to foster innovation further. So we would like to encourage everyone who's looking into OpenStack that not just look into the software side, uh, what you can all already find as you know packages with, with and in different distributions, but also come and participate in the community and bring the requirements, uh, the new ideas, the new challenges in the community, so we can start uh, work together on it. And the one big advantage of OpenStack is that we have players, users, operators um, from all around the globe and all around the industry, which means that uh, the collaboration is even more valuable as you can get feedback and experience from, uh, from everyone in the industry. And uh, these connections are really valuable when you are pushing forward new technologies like edge computing. So last, last question is uh, 5G. Uh, even though the standard hasn't been set yet, but everybody thinks that open source uh, technologies and most likely OpenStack will be a critical part of, of, of coming uh, generation of wireless technologies. What do you think of that? So uh, reflecting back to the point of the open source environment, I think uh, as part of the evolution of 5G, uh, what open source and OpenStack can offer is a faster time to market, for example, because of the open environment while companies uh, can collaborate and not just on defining the requirements, but also to talk to the developers and do the uh, 
um, the implementation work itself and finish it faster and having a more robust and, uh, and better technology and software component uh, coming out of this activity. And um, as for um, the OpenStack community, we are also working together with standardization bodies, like for example at CNFV, to ensure that the solutions that we come out with uh, are in line with the standardization processes. We are also working with Etsy on, on the uh, edge computing initiatives as well. We have the Etsy Mac group, for example, involved and we are uh, reaching out to uh, and working together with other standardization bodies as well um, to um, create a future-proof um, software component and platform. Right. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.